I'm Josh Klein to discover just how smart China really is. In this episode, I search out innovations that could radically solve the world's transport problems. While it's certainly true that many cities around the world have bad traffic, China's got it worse than most. In fact, there's more drivers in China than the U.S. has people. But equally, there's a growing surge of innovators desperate to turn this around. I've been led to a Chinese company that believes it has a solution for short-range commuter travel with a super green tech called Ninebot. I'm here to get the lowdown from Lu Feng Gao, the founder and CEO of Ninebot, the world's largest company in short-range transportation. Joining Gao is engineer Li Pu, vice president of robotics. So I've been stuck in traffic all day. It's taken a long time to get here, and I hear that you might have an answer. What's a Ninebot? Ninebot? That's Ninebot. Ninebot is a very cool portable transportation device that weighs in under 13 kilos. It can travel up to 35 kilometers on a single charge and has a top speed of 22 kilometers an hour. Perfect for short-range commutes. That, so this thing goes really fast. Sure. Yeah. That's extremely nimble. One thing that's a mystery to me is how the thing stays upright. How how does this thing balance itself? It's called self-balancing technology. So basically, there's a gyroscope installed in the system, and I can show you. Um, with this pencil. So basically the gyroscope will sense the tilt and the movements of the body of the vehicle. And if there is a tilt or angle, the wheel will go forward to compensate it. So it's doing very slight movement that cannot really see, but it's always balancing itself. Okay, so as you're leaning forward, it's trying to move itself forward so that you're balanced. Exactly. So you're kind of passive aggressively forcing it to move along to keep exactly. a balance. Right. All right, I know a few relationships like that. Okay. <laughs> Where's this heading next? Because what I'm really keen on is to see this have an impact on traffic. And if everybody's going to be using this, it has to be easy to use, it has to be light to carry around, it has to last for a long time. Yes, we're working very hard on enhancing the product. So we're going to use new materials to reduce the weight. And also we're going to use new battery technologies to make the vehicle travel faster and also goes further and also uh, trying to get the vehicle more safe for people to drive. What's going to make it more safe? Because honestly, you're standing on a wheel. That's a little dodgy just to begin with. In some cases, um, the vehicle has to slow down by itself so that you're not going too fast. It will think about safety for you, actually. And we're also thinking about uh, ways of making the vehicle to go somewhere you want it to go, creating some kind of robot system. Really? So the, the Ninebot will help make sure I go where I'm supposed to go. Exactly. Uber cool 21st century Chinese innovation guaranteed to keep young Chinese urbanites on the move. But its creators aren't resting on their unicycle laurels. The company also has a range of two-wheel devices and recently acquired US rival Segway. It's amazingly intuitive. I mean, I've been riding this thing for five minutes and it really just feels like, oh yeah, you, you lean back, you go back, you lean forward, you lean forward. Tilt left, you go around. It's easy to use. Yeah, it's kind of like riding a bike once you get the knack for it. Is it going to solve China's traffic problems? I don't know. It's certainly going to make a difference in the daily commute. So what are all these different models? What, what do each of these do? This is a daily commute model. So like going to the office, doing the shopping, that kind of thing? Exactly. And this is a uh, knee control version of the daily commute. So you can actually drive it with your knees? Yes, so that your hands are free. Uh, actually, I guess that makes sense because these are gyroscopically controlled, so you could as well use your knees as you could your hands. I guess the only reason this thing has handles is that it feels safer. First, it feels safer and also um, to give you 
the screen so they can see some of the parameters or metrics that they're running. And then this one, I guess, is for police. So now it's evolving from really short term to average daily commute and then on to, to special services? Yes. And the last one at the end, what's with that? It's got giant big knobby tires. That's for off-road use. Off-road? You can take these yeah. things off-road? Exactly. It has a nodular wheel and has a nodular motor. Wow. This is a platform that's designed for many different circumstances, many different kinds of use. This isn't just a single use scenario. It's a general purpose tool. Yes. Nice. With an innovative R&D team and the release of some exciting new GPS and sensor technology, the pickup of these short commute vehicles is starting to gain some serious traction. There's every chance China's congestion problems may be one of the catalysts that's fueling the growth. What's the future of Ninebot? We Ninebot, uh, 包括未来我们能见到的是更加便捷的、更加具有性价比的这个新的产品，能够这方面我觉得都是可以进行这个期待的。所以Ninebot应该是一个，我认为是一个非常酷的一个智能硬件的一个企业，它能够为交通、为